In this presentation, we will explore the ideas of German philosopher Martin Heidegger. Martin Heidegger was born September 26, 1889, in a small German town named Meskirch. He grew up a Roman Catholic. In his younger years, he had intentions to become a priest. He later left the seminary, and he also left behind his hopes of becoming a Catholic priest, but his interest in theology remained, at least for a time. He studied theology at the University of Freiburg from 1909 to 1911. Then he changed his major to philosophy, probably under the influence of his early readings of Aristotle and Edmund Husserl. He received a PhD in philosophy, served in the war, and later went to work for Edmund Husserl at the University of Freiburg from 1919 until 1923. He was offered a good position to teach at the University of Marburg in 1923 and stayed until 1928. It was in 1927 that he wrote his groundbreaking work, Being in Time. Being in Time is a difficult book to summarize, but it's basically an analysis of everyday human life, what he in German called Dasein. In Martin Heidegger's analysis, there are two different ways in which people live. We either have an inauthentic existence or authentic existence. Martin Heidegger asserted in Being in Time that most of our lives is an inauthentic existence. We do what one is supposed to do, as in one drives on the right side of the road, or one is kind to his or her superiors, or one chatters about the latest celebrity happenings, or one does not pick one's nose. Also in this mode of existence, most of our relations with other human beings, animals, and things are instrumental. Everything that is outside of us is treated like a tool in a large web of other tools. For example, I call my friend in order to get information from him so that I can know whether we're going to get together later and hang out downtown. Or, I upload this video in order to share it with other people so that they can be informed about Heidegger. As if everything is kind of a tool in a larger web of tools. Moreover, Heidegger intends to say that not only is it true that most of our relations with people and things are instrumental, but we're largely unaware of what we're doing. Even our judgments can be based on lazy intuitions about what we think we're supposed to think or feel or perceive and so on. But Heidegger writes that it's possible for people to live an authentic existence. According to Heidegger, we live an authentic existence when we realize that we're finite human beings and that we're going to die someday. When we die, of course, there will be no other possibilities for us to do anything. We as human beings get a taste for our own finitude when we contemplate events in our lives that have definite ends. A breakup, for example, which means the end of any possibilities for a continued relationship. Or the death of a loved one, which means the end of contact with that person. Heidegger thinks that when we view our lives as finite, we have a moment to choose to live our lives differently. On Heidegger's account, this still might mean living our lives inauthentically for the most part. Sure, one still acts instrumentally toward most things in life. And sure, one still speaks with civil language at work. One still does not address when another person makes a rude remark and so on. But living authentically, for Heidegger, means choosing specific moments in which we as individuals would like to take ownership of our lives. This is when, for instance, we choose to take up a hobby or a job or what have you, not because it's what everybody else does, but because we really want to do that, because we choose to lead the life of someone who does a particular hobby or a particular job. Or when we choose a relationship, not because we think it's expected of us, but because this is part of the life we're choosing to live. If you've enjoyed this presentation, I'd recommend reading Being in Time. It's a difficult work, but there are some great secondary sources. For instance, there's Hubert Dreyfus's Being in the World, which is mainly about Heidegger's analysis of inauthentic existence. There's also Michael Gelvin's Commentary on Heidegger's Being in Time, which is a reading guide for all of Being in Time. I'd also recommend the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy's article on Martin Heidegger, written by Michael Wheeler, although it is a bit technical. Thank you.